now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the magnitudes of the components of f acting along and perpendicular to segment bc of the pipe assembly so now we we are required to find the components of this force f which is parallel to this bc segment of the pipe and perpendicular to this bc segment of the pipe so let's say if you want to find the component of this force f parallel to bc so let me write that f parallel to bc magnitude will be equal to the dot product of that force f with the unit vector from if you want to find the component of this force f along cb or bc so we have to take the dot product with the unit vector from b to c or c to b so as we know that uh, since the parallel component of this force f and the perpendicular uh, component of this force f will aid uh, by head to tail rule and then must give us this force f so if i draw the component of this force f along this cb so we will have that f parallel component and the com the component that need to be perpendicular with this bc segment of the pipe need to aid with that perpendicular uh, that parallel component and they need to give us the resultant f this force f will be the resultant of both of these components right so by head to tail rule we need to aid them in in this manner right that uh, the component of this force f parallel to cb not bc right and similarly that this will be the perpendicular to this cb right so this is the perpendicular component of this force f so we need to find the parallel component of this force f along cb not bc right so i will write that we will take the dot product with cb so that will be the unit vector along cb so we need to find the position vector from c to b since the unit vector the unit vector from c to b will be the position vector from c to b divided by its magnitude so to find the position vector from c to b we need to move we need to travel from c to reach that point b along the x y and z axis so to reach that point b from c we need to move uh, this four feet distance in the positive z direction so i will write that will be in the positive k direction so that will be plus 4k so if we travel four feet distance in the positive z so we will reach here then we need to move this much distance in the from here until here we need to move four feet distance in the negative i direction that is in the negative x so i will write minus four i so we will reach here and then from here we need to move this much distance which is two feet in the negative j direction so we will reach that point b so i will write minus two j so this is the position vector from c to b and then divided by its magnitude so its magnitude will be minus four square plus minus two square and plus four square and that will be under the square root will give us the magnitude so this is the position vector from c to b so let me calculate that magnitude so minus four square is 16 minus two square is four and 4 square is 16 so this is plus 16 so this gives us 6 so this magnitude is 6 now we can find the component the magnitude of the component of that force f parallel to bc that will be equal to the dot product between uh, force f so force f is given that is 30i this is given 30i minus 45j plus 50k and the dot product with this this is minus 4i minus 2j plus 4k this is the dot product remember and this magnitude is 6 right so we have to divide it by 6 so now to take the dot product we have to multiply i with i j with j and k with k so that will be 30 into minus 4 minus 45 into minus 2 and plus 50 into plus 4 divided by 6 
30 into minus 4 plus uh, minus minus 45 into minus 2 and plus 50 into 4 divided by 6 so this gives us 28.33 so the component uh, the magnitude of the component of course f parallel to that the c segment of the pipe is 28.33 pounds now again if i draw those components so so this will be the component of this force f which will be parallel to this bc segment and then the component will be perpendicular to this bc should should reach the head of this f vector so this is the magnitude of f this is f parallel and this is f perpendicular this will be making 90 degree with this bc segment of the pipe so if we use the pythagoras theorem then from pythagoras theorem we can say that f square will be equal to f parallel square plus f perpendicular square and we want to find f perpendicular so f perpendicular square will be equal to f square minus f parallel square then we need to take the square root so now we need to find the magnitude of that force f so f is given this is the magnitude will be this 30 square plus minus 45 square and plus 50 square this is 50 plus 50 k so this is plus 50 square under the square root so this gives us 73.655, 73.655 pounds. And now if we put all those values in this equation, so that will give us the magnitude of the perpendicular component of force F. And this is 73.655 square minus F parallel, which is 28.33 square. And then we will take the square root. So that will be that answer square answer square is 73.655 minus 28.33 square so this gives us 67.98 or we can say that it is approximately 68 pounds so this is 68 pounds so this is the perpendicular component magnitude and this is the component which is parallel to that bc segment which is 28.33 pounds one thing I should aid uh, in this problem is that if you people take the dot product with the unit vector from B to C, let's say if you want to find the F parallel and we use uh, the dot product of F with the unit vector from B to C. So then we will get the same answer but with the negative sign. So what does that negative sign means is that the direction of that F parallel vector will be from c to b in, since we, we we have used the the dot product with b to c but the negative sign will indicate that the f parallel component of that force f will act in the opposite direction of the unit vector so so it will be acting from c to b when we take the dot product so we will get the f parallel magnitude as minus 28.33 pounds but using this magnitude in this formula we will get the same answer since the square of minus doesn't matter so that will give us always the positive value so using that positive value will give us this 68 pounds value so so you people do not need to confuse yourself right if it is said that find the parallel component of that force f with the c segment so use uh, the unit vector from b to c so that will give us the negative sign right but you people need to understand that what does that negative sign mean so the negative sign means that whatever unit vector you people have used so the that uh, component will be acting in the opposite direction of that unit vector that you people have used